So what's happened to Pauline? Well, she said to tell you that something had turned up. And yes, I will have a cup of coffee if you insist. Thank you yeah. thought of everything, haven't you? Oh, well, I like to make the trip to the laundrette a bit of an occasion. It's <laughs> boring here otherwise. Oh, tough. I would have been over to your place earlier, only I met Tom. You know what it's like. Oh, you and Tom stepping out, are you? Well, you might not believe me to look at my husband, but I do tend to set my sights just a little bit higher, Barry. Besides, I'm a married woman. Who are you? Yes, it's a cross I have to bear. I mean, I get all of the drawbacks and none of the perks, don't I? Oh, well, never mind. Yeah, it's the drawing that's the real ball. It takes ages, doesn't it? Oh, well, that won't take long. You ain't got much in. Ah, oh, just the sheets. But they got to be really, really dry. Silly, really. All that money Colin's got, and he's only got one pair of sheets. So we have to go through this nonsense every week, making sure the sheets are bone dry before putting them back on the bed. I say, he's only got one pair of sheets. What about you? How many pairs have you got? Me? No, I just share Colin's. Oh, one pair of sheets between the two of you? Well, what do you do? I mean, you have one sheet and you kind of double it over, is that it? No, I mean, we sleep in the sheets, we wash them, we put them back on the bed all in the same day. Are you trying to tell me that you and Colin sleep in the same sheets at the same time, in the same bed? There's no law against it, is there? At least not after next week, it's when I come of age. Oh, Barry. What about God's law? Eh? Well, forgive me if I'm misunderstanding you, but are you trying to tell me that you and Colin are homosexuals? Well, sure, didn't you know? No. Yeah. I certainly did not. I mean, I thought you was just friends. You know, flatmates. Yeah, well, we are. Yes, but, I mean, forgive me if I'm wrong, but you're telling me that you and Colin are involved, you know, right? Oh, I'm sorry, Barry, but I'll have to give you your keys back. I mean, I couldn't clean your flat because it'd be tantamount to condone in it, wouldn't it? Not to mention the fact that the pair of you might well have AIDS. Oh, my goodness. I drank a cup of coffee out of your flask. Oh, God, don't be so ridiculous. It's me you're talking to, Barry, no, right? No, I'm sorry, but I have quite strong views on that sort of caper. I mean, it is termed the sin, crying out to heaven for vengeance, ain't it? I don't know, Doc. You're the expert. You tell me. And now God's finally got fed up. And he sent this dreadful plague down on you all. And you still won't learn, oh, will you? Oh, hang on. Are you trying to tell me that AIDS is God's punishment for being gay? Well, of course it is. What else could it be? Well, how comes the only people almost guaranteed not to get it are lesbians? Well, I don't know about them. Anyway, I expect God's got something else up his sleeve for them. Anyway, I bet be off. Here's your keys. 